Peace and love, family. All right, so check it. We about to get ready to install the Cody Krypton 17, okay? So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have this ES file right here. This one right here. And the way you check it is go down to your settings to see if you got it. Go to applications. Go down to manage install applications. And you just scroll down to see if you have it. I have it already. But I'm just showing you guys how it's done. All right. So if you don't get it, we're about to show you how to get it. Go back to the home. Scroll down to apps. Scroll over one time. And then go down to categories. It don't cost nothing. It's the top one of the top free. Like, let me show you. If you go to the top free, you see it's right in here. So you ain't got to worry about paying up for it. So you just go to categories and scroll over till you get to productivity. All right. There we go right there. Productivity. You click on that. And mine's is right here in the top corner. So all you do is click on that and you will be downloading and then getting it installed. All right. So make sure you get that done first because you're going to need it. Okay. Back to the home screen. Now what we want to do is go all the way up to home. Click on the ES File Explorer. Open it up. All right. Now what you want to do is go all the way to Add. See Add right there? Now we're going to type in H. TTP uh, Cody dot TV. HTTP column Cody.tv. All right, then go to next. Now, what you want to do is just give it a name. Any name you want could be your own name, whatever. Call it Cody TV if you want to. Cody TV one or something. Yeah, that's what I put. I put Cody. Cody O nine. Just do it like that. I click on next. As you can see, <clears throat> got the Cody TV, Cody 09. And then just move over one time and hit add. You have officially made you a bookmark. Okay. Now what you want to do is stay to the left. And go all the way down to that bookmark you just made. So Cody 09. Click on it. And it will open up for you. Now you see everything we got right here? Alright. So now what you're going to do is... Go all the way up, scroll over, you see that yellow at the top where it say about and download, go right there to downloads. 
Now that we at downloads, we're going to scroll all the way down till we get right here. Now we're going to go over to the Android. And you see where it say release arm. You see that right there? Release arm. We don't want that one. We don't want that one. We want the arm V7A. 32 bit. That's the one we want. Now click that. I already have it downloaded. That's why that came up, but it would do nothing on your screen. So all you would do is just go up, go all the way back up. Go to the your left and go all the way down. All the way down, then all the way to your right and where I go click on more and open in browser and it will start downloading for you guys okay see it right here you got more than three buttons on the side. Just click it and then go to open in browser. And it will start downloading for you guys. All right. All right, guys, the download is complete. Hopefully yours is as well. So now what we do is move over one time to open file. Click on that. Move over one time to install. Now you should be installing. See install right here. Click that. Let it all start. it again while I was doing this I'll be back all right so the install is done that's how it should look now you just go down and over one time to open and you hit open on there and this is the Cody 17.1 Krypton RC all right As you can see, everything is different from the old one. Still manageable, but it's different from how I usually look. All right. So, <clears throat> once we go here, we will, first thing we want to do is go to settings. Now, if you guys have... A display issue go to system settings this is the display no, I don't see it on here oh no that's what it was interface go to interface and then your skin right here see I mean it'd be something a little different on here Then you go to zoom. And this will make your screen bigger, smaller. You see, however, it's fitting your TV. Then you go out of there. Now we want to go to File Manager. 
and we want to add source. All right, so click on that. And we will name this Fusion TV. There you go. H T T P Fusion TV. Fusion dot TV add ons. So that's it. Click on OK. Go down here. Give it a name. Any name you like. Uh, put Fusion. Or Fuse. Cody. Cody. <clears throat> Everything is okay with that. As you can see, we got it up here. These are some other ones that I did previously. All right. Go back to the main page. Back home to the main page. Go down to add-ons click that one time and go straight to this box up here all right see that box up there right at the top click on that and you will go to install from zip file <clears throat> to begin here should be good to go all right and go back out of there now you will go to See, I already have all this stuff, so I'm just trying to help you guys out. You will have to go to Config Wizard. where you will uh, enable everything as you see we got exodus right here it's already open you got update right here you put it on auto update this is the dis disable but this is where you will click to push enable once that enable once you enable it, you will see the open right here. All right. If you got it open, you can click on it. See if we can watch some movies. Get 
all our movies in, you see. This is how yours should be looking as well. Let's just see if something to play. <clears throat> and I got mine set up to autoplay, so. You guys can set yours up in autoplay too, up in the settings. Taking a little minute, ain't it? There we go. All right. So they got the X Men movie playing. So we all good. Peace, fam. Good luck.